Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com and I'm currently on board the beautiful brand new Norwegian Encore. We're here today on board the inaugural and I wanted to show you what a category that's unique to Norwegian and unique to this, uh, this ship Breakaway Plus style. So this is a studio cabin on board and it's perfect for one person. So this has been a pain point in cruising forever that a lot of times when you're traveling as a solo passenger you got to pay double so they've built these rooms that are very comfortable for one person um, and they're uh, they're really ideal even for friends as well if you go the connecting route so let me show you what the room is all about so as you can see you have a little bit bigger than a single bed you got like a full bed here you have uh, they, they say it's a window essentially but um, you've got it piped in from the outside exactly what is out there so you kind of have a virtual um, virtual view you can even pull this down if you'd like, <laughs> pull the shade down. So trying to give you that authentic experience like you are outside. So next to the bed, uh, what you're gonna see is you've got two USB ports right here. You've got a nice reading light. Once again, everything in here is for one passenger. So keep that in mind. You've got your phone right here that's super convenient. And then you've got a little uh, chair where you can sit. Um, you can actually move it over there if you wanna use uh, the, the sink as a vanity as well and a little bit of storage underneath. So right here is gonna be the main part of your storage. So you've got hang up storage over here. You've got uh, your safe down there, not quite big enough for a laptop, but perfect for valuables, passport, uh, wallet, things like that. Storage underneath there. Okay, so I'll point this out on the other side here. You've got more storage, so you've got more hang up storage here, and then storage underneath there as well. So quite a bit of storage for a room this size. All right, so here's your flat panel TV. You've got your remote here. Uh, keep in mind that you can use the TV to access your online account uh, or for the ship account. Um, you can also use it to check menus, things along those lines. It's fully interactive now. You got a nice little desk area. Once again, you've got the stool that you can pull up here if you want, make a little writing desk. Over here, you've got your sink um, and vanity area. Inside, there's three US plugs. So that's just uh, really nice. You can actually use uh, set up like a charging station over here if that's something you're interested in. Below, you also have a Euro plug and a shaving plug there. So there's four US plugs in this little complex. You've got your soap right here. Um, underneath is where you're gonna find your trash can. Little bit of storage on the other side, but once again, not a ton. Uh, but it is nice because you can put some things away if you have people coming over. Okay, you got a little bit more storage right here, including the hair dryer, which is standard on board all rooms. I get asked that question a lot. Okay, and then just a little bit more drawer storage here. So once again, it's really nice um, because if you do have somebody come over for a few minutes, you can have your stuff put away completely, or if that's something that you really appreciate, you can have that as well. Okay, so as you come over here, you're gonna find your shower. So it's not huge, but I do like that it's got the acrylic uh, you know, shell. Um, so it creates a lot more room and there's not a shower curtain. So I'm a pretty big guy, 6'6". Six, six. I can actually fit in here, which is surprising. I kind of touched the top, but uh, once again, this is meant for a solo traveler. Um, and I'm a pretty big solo traveler when I go that route. Um, in here, you're gonna have your soap, uh, body wash, and shampoo. They've gone with the refillable me uh, method because essentially that's great for the environment compared to all the small plastic bottles. And Norwegian is going, uh, getting rid of all single use plastic bottles on their fleet with, by the end of 2019. Right here, you see a full length mirror used to get ready. In some staterooms, this is actually a door. So if you have two friends that are traveling together, this is a fantastic option. Both people can have completely their own space, but also the ability to communicate and kind of hang out together as well. So let's get to the final space here. You've got the toilet uh, just in here, exactly what you think it is. Uh, but once again, nice that it's in a separated out space. Sometimes with lofts, that doesn't always happen, um, but you have that studio kind of loft here and they did put that away completely. A couple other things by the door. You've got your makeup room and do not disturb right here, as well as the temperature controls. Um, you've got to keep the key card in completely. You just got to keep that in mind. If you're charging things, you want the lights on, you've got to have a key card in there. So once again, this is a studio room on board the Norwegian Encore. I think it's a fantastic option for solo travelers. A lot of times I'll have families or large groups and a couple people want to travel individually by themselves so people can spread out throughout the ship and have this as and, and still be part of the group as well. The other great part is that you're going to have the, the full studio lounge as well. I'll show you that in just a minute, but the studio lounge is a really awesome thing because it brings people together socially. And a lot of times when you're a solo traveler, you know, a lot of the activities are not designed for you specifically. So the studio complex is actually three floors. You've got one below me here and you have one above me as well. So something you want to keep in mind is if you don't want to use the store stairs to access the studio lounge, then you might want to think about booking one on deck 11. That's what I would recommend because otherwise you kind of have to go, if you don't want to use the stairs, you have to go out to the elevators up or down and then back over and around. Um, but once again, this is a, such an awesome space to utilize as a solo traveler because 
Like I said, one of the major things that's really, really annoying is a lot of the events and activities are set up for couples, uh, for families, for kids, for things like that. And so this is uh, specifically built and programmed for solo travelers. You've got a mix of some really comfy couches, some beautiful uh, chairs as well here. And then you have a really great uh, you know, place to hang out and relax and have some pastries, some fresh fruit. You got orange juice, ice water, you even got espresso. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is all these machines use the Starbucks uh, beans. So basically you're having your Starbucks here if you'd like. And this is all part of that shared experience. And of course, well, getting together with friends, usually there's some wine involved somehow. But as I just kind of finished going around, you can see they put these huge screens in this uh, version of it. I really, really like it. It's such an awesome place to be on the ship um, where you can just kind of hang out and relax and not feel the pressures of, uh, of you know hanging out with other couples and things along those lines. So I hope you absolutely love this video. Please like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications. That way you can see all of the upcoming videos that we have. We have some awesome content from Norwegian and a ton of other cruise lines. So if you enjoy the ship tours and you enjoy the, uh, the stateroom tours, this is the perfect option for you. So hope to see you on board shortly.